Welcome to a brief tutorial by SEAL Systems on SAP's Plant Maintenance Module. Today we're going to look at several ways to attach files to plant maintenance orders and distribute them together as a package. Now let's get started. So first we'll open up our SAP GUI and navigate to an existing plant maintenance order. Uh, using IW32 as a transaction, we can search and in our case we have an existing order number that we're going to work with. On the PM order, you see lots of information, uh, most of it relating to the planning, assignment and execution of our scheduled maintenance work. Uh, here on the header of the order, we have lots of options. First, we might want to attach documents that relate directly to the operational steps of the work instructions. That's here under this tab. This kind of information is going to be best kept with each operational step. And we see that here behind the production resources and tools button. So we highlight one of these items and click this button. So we go into the step and we can attach documents here. You see an example of a document record that's attached. Uh, further clicking into that, we can see a controlled document drawing with a PDF. And this can be used in many in maintenance orders as it's attached to the PRT, which is in turn attached to the actual operation. So within each of these operations, we can build a list of materials and document records. They contain many file types, for example, drawings, Word files, spreadsheets, videos, uh, CAD models and more. All right, returning back to the header, we can also attach materials to components and these materials will generally have document records attached to them. So you can see that here under this components tab. Back to the header again. Uh, below here we have reference objects and these uh, can contain additional important locations for attachments include the functional location. This is where equipment to be maintained is stored or operated from. And here you can attach the functional location to multiple work orders and also see the documents through these buttons here. These are the functional location documents or materials that are attached. Below that is the equipment itself, what we're actually maintaining here. And this, again, can be a master record in SAP, can be uh, represented by documents, and these we see in this list as well. And even the assembly here, uh, where the particular equipment that needs repair is operated within or relates to a larger encompassing product. This is usually represented by a whole material. As you see here, this is the complete scooter in our example. Uh, lastly, I'll mention the generic object services or business document service. This small button on the top left uh, that can be seen on many screens, not just plant maintenance like you see it here, is a sort of catch-all paperclip for document URLs and the like. While it does not provide any sort of document control mechanism like the SAP document management system might do with document records, it is a quick and easy way to attach files. Be careful though, these files are not transferable to other objects and are not stored on a cache for ease of access except in the case of a URL, of course. Other work necessary for this maintenance order to be ready for action, a planner will come in and schedule work workers and facility resources in order to effectively plan and release the work order. Finally, let's talk about distribution. So when you, your work order is complete, all the files attach properly and the resources allocated, it's time to release the order. To do this, this uh, is done either through a batch mode with transaction IW38 or through individual release here. And we can do that by going to order, print, order. These items on the screen are the shop papers that have been defined by your business. This helps take the SAP data here and put it into a usable format that can be printed checked off, signed, and stored, proving the work is done, or storing information about the specific work, including measurements and, and other important data that needs to be reported back to uh, the enterprise. Normally in SAP, there's no direct method for printing the attachments you've added previously with the shop papers. That's where we come in. SEAL Systems has a robust set of applications in SAP that enable the automatic identification, collection, and final print, email, or web distribution of the work orders with all SAP forms and all your document attachments. So check this out, it's really easy to do. Uh, in our case, we're going to select the operation. Uh, we're gonna omit the production resource tool and we're going to print this out. This job is uh, essentially created inside SAP. It shows us our maintenance work order. If there's any shop papers attached, that's actually attached in there. We have the GOS objects, the services for objects here. We also have the PRT that we did select, uh, which was unchecked in this case as we unselected that from the first screen and we have the functional location the equipment and some of these items that are actually selected for output based on filters 
we go to select this to output, this goes to our screen. And within a minute, we have a completed package represented by this uh, PDF here on my screen. First page, we see some information about the actual work. We see a list of the documents and attachments that were related to this. Uh, we have, for example, the work order. We have document attachments. We have a 3D PDF and so forth. So these jobs can be scheduled automatically. And work begins without manual intervention or having to collect instructions and attachments by hand. Okay, great. I hope this video was informative, and if you'd like to see more, please leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.